couch Dogs, me, guitar lessons Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another full finger style arrangement lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. In this video we're gonna learn to make you feel my love, the Bob Dylan song that everyone covered. Um, first I'm gonna play you the arrangement so you can see and hear how it goes and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick with tabs right here on the screen as usual. It goes like this, enjoy. So before we start, I just want to mention that this was a private arrangement purchased by one of your fellow viewers and donated to the channel for everyone's enjoyment. So thank you very much, private student. So uh, you start the verse with a G chord and it's three on the second string and three on the sixth. So you start with playing the chord or just the bass note and then three, 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 one, zero on the second string. Right? Now, you can harmonize with the chord, of course. And then you have D over F sharp. It's three and two on strings, two and three, and two on the sixth string, either with your first finger or with the thumb, uh, whichever is more comfortable for you. And you play strings two and six, and then two, two on the third string. Okay, or the chord, and then the third string twice. Then you put on F like this. Um, one, two, three on strings, two, three, four, and one on the sixth string with your thumb, so you can do this. Okay, and still have the chord ringing. Okay, it's the same first line. It's three, 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 one, zero on the second string, but this time with F. So it's one, two, three on the... Um, second, third, fourth strings, and one on the bass. You can also do it like this. Okay, without a low F bass, just three on the D string as your F bass note. Um, whichever, again, whichever you prefer, both versions work. And then you have C, and you play strings two and five, and then two open third strings. Right? And then you have C minor, but you put it on like this, okay? It's one and one on strings two and four, and your pinky on three on the fifth string. Now, why is that? This is a C chord, two on the D string is the major note, and we want a minor note, so two goes down a half step down to one, and we have C minor. Now, it's very important that you don't play the first string, okay, because that's E, and we have E flat, which is the minor note. So only play strings two, three, four, and five. Now uh, you play strings four and uh, five for the minor change, and uh, you can also, of course, play the third string with it. 
and then it's uh, one 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 zero on the second string, and then two on the third. Right? You can let go of the chord when you play the open second string, because uh, if you play this, you have C minor major seven, and that's not the harmony you're going for. So play C minor. Let go of the chord when you play the open second string, and then two on the third string. Got it? Then it's G again, this time three on the bass and the open second string, then two open third strings. Right? And then you have A7, and you play the fifth string, then you play strings three and four, the open third string, two on the fourth, and then two more third strings. Okay, so you have. Then you have C over D, meaning one on the second string, open third, open fourth. Okay, and you can play that twice, okay, for emphasis, or once and then another third string. This is weaker, in my opinion, weaker musically, so I advocate playing uh, the chord twice for um, emphasis. And then the open third string and the G chord any way you want. You can strum it if you want. Whichever fits your own version of the arrangement. That's the verse uh, G. D over F sharp. Then F. C. Then C minor. Then you have G again, then you have A7, D over C, uh, C over D, sorry, and then G. And now um, I harmonize the third string there with the fourth, instead of just a thin uh, voicing. Again, your choice, okay, or harmonized or not harmonized. You can also variate, play it harmonized once, not harmonized the second time. Um, that's the verse. Now for the chorus. The chorus starts with a C chord, and you put on three on the E string as well with your pinky, and you play the bass. Then you have three, 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 two, zero on the E string. Okay? Again, you can harmonize with the chord wherever you like. Okay? Then you have G again with three on the second string. You play strings two and six, both on three. Then you play two open third strings. Okay, you recognize the motif already? Um, it's always da 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 da. Always, that's the motif here. Um, then you have B7 and you play the fifth string on two. Then you have um, zero, zero, zero on the second string, and again, you can harmonize with the chord. Okay, now this was a mistake, it's just three times. Then the fourth time is with the C bass notes, three on the fifth string. And then two, two, zero on the third. Okay, so it's B7, C, okay, on the fourth note. Then you have the open third string again with the G bass note, three on the um, sixth string, and then um, I like to do this. Two hammer on to four on the third string, and for that you have to put the bass note with your second finger to have your first finger and the third or fourth free. Then um, it's C again, exactly the same first line. And then you put on the full G chord with three and three on strings one and two, and you play strings two and six, then three on the E string, then um, the open third string into E minor. Okay, you play the open third string first and then E minor. So it's okay, any way you want, a simple arpeggio fits, just string six, five, four, three, like this. It's um, okay. 
Ooh. It's um four two 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 zero two on the third string. Four two 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 zero zero two. Think I read it wrong? It's uh, four two 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 zero zero two with the A bass note. Then, if you want to harmonize, bar the second fret and play the open fifth string and two on the fourth. Okay, as a harmony, and start with four two 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 and leave the bar when you need the zero. So it's. And then it's two again on the third string, this time with D. Now, if you want a chord there, instead of putting two back on, put on D7, okay, and play it like this. And then, and then just arpeggiate the chord in any way you see fit. Okay, so that's the chorus, C, G, Um, B7, C, G again, then C again, same line, then G again, but a different line. Okay, E minor, and then uh, A, okay, and D or D7. And that's it, that's to make you feel my love. So before you go practice this, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You've got a ton of lessons already on the channel and I upload a new one every couple of days or so. And a full finger style arrangement just like this one every few weeks. Now um, also download the tab from the website, it's for free. The link is right below in the description. Everything on Lick and Riff is for free, but if you want to help out and give something back to Lick and Riff, there's a large blue donation button right above the tabs. You can't miss it. It's oval, it's blue, it's large, it says donate. And everything goes right back into Lick and Riff into making these lessons into your guitar education. I'd appreciate your help and I thank you in advance for any donation you choose to make. Thank you very much. So you go uh, practice this, make your own arrangement of this. I just showed you the basics so you can take it and make it your own. Enjoy, let me know how it goes and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.